how to use the microfluidizer. This is where you turn the gas on, on the tank. You should look here on the readout once you turn the tank on and make sure that there's at least about 7 to 800 PSI like there is here on the regulator when you get started. If there isn't, you should change tanks. Now you'll go here to the actual instrument and your sample will go in here into the funnel. The ice goes in here with the, make sure that all the coil is packed full of ice and you will adjust the pressure here using this lever and uh, this one is set on about I think 30,000 PSI right now and counterclockwise turning it you can lower this pressure as like I'm doing right now. You turn the instrument on here and you will read the pressure out with this gauge down here. It makes a loud noise and uh, here you can adjust the pressure. As you can see here it's about 12 to 13,000 PSI as it is up here on the gauge, it's also about 12,000 PSI, so these correspond to approximately the same units. As you increase the pressure, the unit speeds up, and you should always adjust your pressure to the full funnel, because you can see that the sample goes away really quickly. At this point, I would turn off the instrument, because I'm at the desired pressure, load my sample, and proceed with the lysis. Once you're finished with this, Make sure that it's, well, the funnel doesn't run dry ever, because if it does, it has to be reprimed because of the air in the system. Once you're finished with your sample, make sure you've rinsed the propanol like you would normally. You would turn off everything here like it is now, and then make sure to turn the tank off here by turning this lever all the way off. If the tank is empty, please label it with this red tape, and the marker, just like this here, is empty, so we can make sure that there are Thanks for everyone to use while we need it. Thanks a lot. If you need any help, just contact me. Thanks.